David Freiberger here, and among other things, I am a land speed racer, and this piston right here is a very custom special unit that JE Pistons did for me, and it's got a bunch of coatings on there that, frankly, I'd never used before and didn't completely understand, and so I had it explained to me, which turned into this video, which is sort of just the core basics of the different coatings that you're going to see on some of the JE products. Let's start over here at the very basic end with the SRP Pro piston. These are all going to come with a dry film coating that is silk screened onto the skirt. And one of the things that they really want people to realize is that none of these skirt coatings are sacrificial. They don't disappear after the car has been running for a while. They're actually there in case you have a problem with oiling. You don't get enough oil film onto the cylinder wall at some point for some reason, and you might scuff a piston. That's just gonna help prevent that from happening. That is the most basic of what you're gonna get as far as the coatings. Next up, this is a JE Ultra Piston. This is a new shelf design piston that is packed with features for guys who want to do big boost on something like an LS engine, which is what this is right here. And part of the features that they come with are first, a ceramic coating on the top. This is a thermal coating. When you're running huge boost, you're trying to make like 11 or 1200 horsepower, you can localize heat into the aluminum of the piston that can actually change the structure of the aluminum itself. This is designed to prevent that and reflect some of that heat back into the chamber just to protect the piston. That comes standard on the JE Ultra series, but it is optional on any custom piston that you might order. The next thing you've got on the Ultra Series is this, which is called Perfect Skirt, and it is a compressible coating. What's interesting about this is that the Ultra Piston is designed for extreme high performance, street driven cars. It's a 2618 piston, which means it needs more cold cylinder wall clearance than a 4032 forging would. And sometimes on cold startup, that can lead to a little bit of a rattle. Well, this coating prevents that. It makes it quiet on startup, but as the piston expands, it compresses, no problem whatsoever. So that's a really interesting coating that comes standard on all the Ultra. Now let's go look at my very custom piston for a 347 cubic inch small block Chevy that makes about 11, 1200 horsepower with a Pro Charger and that needs to run wide open throttle for more than a minute at Bonneville to go 250 or 60 miles an hour. Now when they knew that that's what I was trying to do, they wanted to set me up with a couple of things. First of all is the tough skirt. Now this is a dry film coating similar to what you've seen on this SRP piston, but it's a completely different process. This one is actually sprayed on and it's on the entire skirt and it's just designed to protect me when I actually run out of oil at like 8,000 RPM at 200 miles an hour to prevent a little bit of scuffing. More interesting is up top the electroless nickel plating. Now this is a very hard, very smooth surface texture that's on this thing that does a couple of things. First, it is heat reflective. It sort of helps protect that dome the same way that the ceramic does, but it's also very non-porous and very hard so it won't collect any contaminants. No carbon, no little pieces of salt or sand or anything like that. It'll just uh, reject that right off the piston. It's a very hard coating that also helps the top ring groove. You can get what's called micro welding where the steel ring will move around inside the aluminum piston and it can actually gall a little bit and transfer some aluminum onto the ring. And then if the ring doesn't want to rotate nicely or move freely, it can create a sealing problem. Well, that electroless nickel coating helps prevent that. And then last, we've got the cool coat, which is actually hard anodizing on one of my favorite pistons because look at that thing. That is a top fuel dragster piston. And that coating right there is basically designed to make the piston survive a very, very harsh fuel. And while it's used on nitro and they probably throw these away after a run or two, this can be really important if you are a methanol guy and you want your piston to survive with that really, really acidic methanol that can end up pitting the piston. And uh, you can order that hard anodizing called Cool Coat. So there's some very basics about what you can get on either your shelf or custom pistons from JE. You want to learn more? JEPistons.com.